Far and away the most common cause is osteoarthritis, basically wear and tear arthritis of the hip. So the potential advantages of the direct anterior approach is that we don't cut any muscles or tendons. And there is a big part of the recovery. You have to respect the soft tissue. I'm Anthony Carter, orthopedic surgeon with Hampton Roads Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, and I practice at Mary Immaculate Hospital. I started doing this in 2005. I was the first one in the state of Virginia, and certainly in this area. With the direct anterior approach, since we don't cut the muscles and tendons, the recovery can be much quicker. There's no restrictions, no precautions, which is much more convenient for patients. You know, simple things like bending down to tie your shoes, worrying about sitting in a low seat, you know, getting in and out of the car. Those things are much simpler with this approach. Everything's web-based now and that's how you learn. And a lot of surgeons in particular are very visual learners. It's one thing to read something in a book, but most surgeons to be proficient in what they do have to see it and do it. It's very hard to show in great detail inside an operation. We're so fortunate here at Mary Immaculate that we have this eye suite technology where we have high definition cameras in the lights it's right over my shoulder, and what I'm looking at, that camera's looking at. We can zoom in, incredible detail, show blood vessels, show nerves. We also have other high-definition cameras around the room to show more panoramic views. We have six different cameras in the room. We can just switch from camera to camera to camera to give different angles, close-ups, into the womb. We can show everything. It really makes a huge difference. I think that's the way a lot of people are going to learn in the future. The Anterior Hip Foundation is the brainchild of Joel Mata. So this meeting is devoted to anything and everything anterior approach. And the commitment is to educate, to promote studies, get more data on this approach, to engage more surgeons. Our first meeting was last year. The second meeting was this year. And as part of that meeting, they asked me to do a live surgery. It was a little bit daunting because most of the surgeons that are attending, they're pretty experienced surgeons and they're well known. And it's not just in this country, it's international. The direct anterior approach is definitely gaining popularity. About 30% of surgeons in the United States use the anterior approach, and because of that, it's been adopted in a lot of the teaching centers. So as the next group of surgeons comes up, the next generation, I really believe it's going to be the standard of care.